Hi guys, it's Katie. Thanks for joining me today. I have a fun little DIY project that I wanted to share with you guys today. I will be adding a new sign to my DIY paint parties this month, which is the fun home sign. And it will feature um, your state as the O or the boxwood wreath as the O. However, when I was trying to find boxwood wreaths at a reasonable price, I was having a lot of trouble. Um, Amazon, they are super expensive there, or more expensive, I guess, than what I wanted to pay in order to provide them as part of my project. I didn't want the signs to be totally unreasonable once I put all of the supplies with it. So I decided to search around and find out how I could create my own DIY boxwood wreath. And so that's what I'm going to be sharing with you guys today. Um, at the end of the video, I'll share with you a finished project of the home sign. And then I will have another video in the future sharing with you how I created the home sign. Um, I will link all of the supplies in the bottom of this video. Everything came from Amazon, the little wreath that I found, and then the boxwood vine. I did grab some wire and wire cutting tools as well as my hot glue gun because I wasn't 100% sure how I was going to attach this but um, some f floral wire would work perfectly too but I just kind of tucked the first little part into the um, wreath itself and then added some hot glue and I found that that was going to work just fine and I didn't need to have the wire so I just hot glued around the wreath um, a few times until I felt like it looked full enough and um, covered enough. I kind of alternated in and out so it wasn't just one big circle around there. I did a few on the further outside and then I kind of wrapped some in and out so they crisscrossed a little bit and that seems to kind of add a little bit of um, texture and it doesn't look so just wrapped into a circle. It kind of um, moves things around a little bit and I found that the hot glue really was working I did of course have to hold it just a little bit and then I didn't have any problems and I felt like that was going to work for me and the coverage was really nice so again all of the supplies are going to be listed in the bottom of this video and if you're watching on YouTube if you're watching on my uh, blog the same thing if you happen to be watching on Facebook just follow the link um, over to my blog where you can find all of the supplies that I used in today's video so I'm really excited to add the rustic home sign to my classes this is one that I've been wanting to get done for a long time so I hope that you guys enjoyed today's video and I will see you soon with the how-to on how to make the rustic home sign itself.